Guess it's been a while since I've done one of these. Yo, what's up guys, Shujinka Dink here. Welcome to a video all about your comments. It has been a while, apologies. Uh, I got a little kind of distracted from YouTube and went a little bit more into like, just coasting mode. <laughs> I kind of forgot about how much I uh, enjoyed interacting with you guys. Uh, WV Midnight actually in the Twitch chat yesterday kind of nudged me a bit. <laughs> like, hey, you, uh, you don't do these anymore, why not? And I was like, I guess I don't have a good reason for that. Um, so yeah, if you want your comment to be read in this, uh, you can comment on this video because I usually pick at least one or two comments from this video uh, for my next video. And I usually try and do these monthly. So uh, yeah, that being said, let's just, just get into your questions. Hey Dink, would you ever change your YouTube name to Daddy Dink for just one day? I think that would confuse a lot of people <laughs> for just one day. And they'd be like, I don't remember signing up for, to Daddy Dink. What is this? And they go there and it was me. Maybe an April Fool's? type thing or just completely change my band to like Mr. Beast or something they're like what the hell I don't know it's just an idea I just thought of it on the spot so sue me I don't know <laughs> this game sucks Dragon Ball Fighters PS4 I guess I'm curious why it doesn't suck Dragon Ball Fighters Xbox I mean you can suck whoever you want it doesn't matter to me but I mean what's the difference is one like hung like a freaking horse and the other one's like a horse fly I don't know. Actually, I considered trying Dragon Ball Fighters again. Like I, I tried the beta for it when it came out, and like the flying and like the air combos, and it's just not my thing. I, it's, I had the same thing with Marvel versus Capcom. Uh, those games, I tried them. The big crazy air combos and stuff, just, just not my thing. I'm sure the game's fun. I'm sure it's great. It's just everyone has their tastes, right? Same thing. Some people don't like Mortal Kombat. Some people don't like all that gore and stuff. They just want a nice, you know, solid fighter like Tekken or Street Fighter. Right? Can't hate on people for their likes. Everyone has their likes, right? As long as you're, you know, being ethical about it. Just like whatever you want, I guess. I hate Combat League. I hate being competitive. <laughs> this vid is not for me. This was from my uh, uh, five tips to stay competitive in Combat League and all that kind of stuff. I might link it up here if I'm feeling frisky when I'm editing this but uh, yeah no I mean that's another thing you can play the game however you want that's one thing I really like about Mortal Kombat 11 is there's a, there is kind of something for everybody if you don't want to jump online and play against other people there's lots of stuff you can do in the towers and the crypt uh, even just all the training modules and stuff that you can learn it's really like fleshed out there's just like kind of something for everybody and without getting heavy into like uh, microtransactions or something and that was that was something that I was really confused about on the start like I watched a youtuber boogie 2988 he did a review on Mortal Kombat 11 he's talking about so you gotta stop with the microtransactions I'm like what microtransactions are you talking about the only thing that you could buy were like easy fatalities and source crystals that was it <laughs> so I wasn't really sure where those came from because yeah there hasn't really been any other than that and now how it, how it works is is awesome. I'm totally fine with that. I have just enough source crystals from the combat leagues and stuff to uh, to buy like some cool skins and stuff when I see it in the store. And uh, you know, I'm sure doing it offline, you could do the same thing with all the towers and stuff that you're doing. So I don't know. I don't get the hate, but whatever. All right, if you're on like mobile or something, it might be hard for you to read. Uh, hey Dink, is it possible you can make a quick guide on this game? This is in reference to Injustice Gods Among Us. I know that it is old, but the game is now free on PS4 and some people might pick it up. So I'm just asking, if you have time, could you make a video along the lines of how to get better in Injustice 1? Thanks in advance. This is something I never even considered, but having it being like the free game, I mean, I suppose I could do something like that. What do you guys think? Or how many of you guys are actually playing? How many of you guys picked it up again or picked it up for the first time? Uh, would something like that be helpful to you? Because I can totally do it. I'm, like, I love doing like the tips and tricks types videos, if you haven't noticed. Um, so yeah, I'd love to do something like that as long as there's some interest for it. So uh, let me know what you guys think, because your feedback is important. Bro, I'd love for you to give me some lessons. You can sign up, my friend, anytime. Links are always in the description of my videos. Um, I enjoy teaching a lot, and I think that was a big um, thing that like, kind of like pushed me over to actually like announce my retirement from competing, is uh, just teaching is way more fun for me than competing in tournaments. And I like kind of testing people and, and, and picking things apart and seeing like, okay, is he going to catch on to this? Is he going to catch on to this? Are they, are they going to do, you know, are they going to punish this finally, you know? So it's it's really fun for me. And, you know, and it seems to be fun with everybody I teach. You know, I've had some some students stick around for like years, you know, and a lot of them have just become my friends now. It's just like a thing that we do. So it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I really enjoy it. I think it's kind of 
I think there's, and I was talking to, I can't remember who I was talking to, I was talking to somebody about this, about how like, just because you're a good player doesn't necessarily make you a good teacher. So like there are other players in the scenes who have tried to do similar things and uh, you know, I've had students from both that have done, you know, both peoples and you know, I get a lot of feedback and being a good teacher and that's something I take a lot of pride in, you know, and that's one of the few things that I'll actually kind of like boast myself up about, you know, as I'm, I think I'm very good at teaching. I'm very good at finding exactly where you need to improve and exactly how you need to do it. So, I don't know. If you have experience, you can post in the comments or, uh, or even better, sign up. Get, uh, get Discord access as well. It's like a little family over there. Except we don't have our, like, Christmas dinners and stuff. That's kind of, that's kind of sad. I wonder who would, who would make each thing. I would definitely make the mashed potatoes. I could see Hater making some vegetables. Shiro maybe making some mac and cheese. That's a kind of a fun thought. Hi Dink, I've been following you since MKX, but I had stopped playing MKX and watching MKX videos after a while, so your videos were not recommended to me. But I've started playing MK11 and your videos start to pop up again, even videos that are months slash weeks old. I know you've been having trouble with YouTube algorithm lately, so I hope it is fixed. Though that's a really nice comment for you to make, and you know, I know I've voiced my frustrations about this platform and that kind of thing. Um, but things have been not too bad lately, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't I don't know with this whole like judging yourself monetization system how that's gonna go. Um, but no, I'm happy with doing Twitch a little bit more actually. Um, that was something that I was actually really anxious doing. I did not like streaming before. Every once in a while I get into my groove, but like I just didn't really care for it, and I don't know, I've just kind of found my thing, we've built a community, we've done our thing, it's uh, most evenings, you can catch me on there, just playing some games, maybe some different games, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's fun, I, I enjoy kind of the mix of the two, and you know, you can take some highlights from one and put them on, on the other kind of thing, and, and vice versa. I do like the stability of YouTube, and how, um, and how like I can make playlists, and you know, have like content like readily available. I really like that. Um, but I feel like Twitch is a little bit more interactive with you guys as viewers, and it's something that I really like. I've actually gotten to know quite a few of you very well over on the Twitch stream. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty fun. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep rambling if I keep going. So let's get to the next question. I think this is the last one. Are you on PS4? Because I thought you're on Xbox, but I know Scar is on PS4. Also, you should try version three Cetrion. Okay, so let me get the first question out of the way there, which is, are you on PS4? I am on PS4. I'm mainly on PS4. Very, very rarely do I turn on my Xbox. A couple people I do lessons with that I have to go on my Xbox for, uh, and every time I'm reminded why I need to go on there more often, because there's always an update, like, right before I'm going to start the lesson, and I'm like, crap, you know? Darn it. I have to wait around for the, for the uh, update to finish, so... Usually, uh, which kind of sucks because a lot of sometimes I like to go into like online practice mode, and like even though I could play with crossplay, and like we, I think I did this last night with Hurry, is I we, we played on crossplay on PS4 and while I was waiting for my Xbox to update, and then I just switched over to my Xbox afterwards. Um, so we made it work somehow. I uh, I I don't know what my opinion is on uh, on crossplay because like all of my experiences have been good with it, but like everyone says that it's just so much worse and blah blah blah, but. I've had nothing but good experiences with it personally. I don't know about you, whoever you are watching. Maybe you could comment on that. Um, yeah, but I've had nothing but uh, but good issues and good gameplay. Me and Broski do it all the time, and it's great. I just like it. And I wish that they had it open to PC as well. That's my big thing. Because I love playing the game on PC. It runs really well on PC. Um, way better. It looks way better than a console. But it's just a pain for me personally to set up. Because with my two monitor system, and especially if I want to stream or something, it's like I, did, I think I did PC tournament once. And it was just really difficult. Like every time I click from one screen to another, I lose my my game sound, and it was just it was confusing. But you know, I'm not the smoothest with computers. <laughs> I've built a couple, so I know like the hardware end of it. But like operating things, I'm still kind of clunking the way my way along. So yeah. So that being said, I'm available on PS4. I'm available on Xbox One. I'm available on PC and I'm available on Nintendo Switch. That's right, I've bought this game five times. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure that I had an avenue for somebody that like only had the game on PC or only on Switch, you know, just to be able, if they wanted to sign up for lessons they could, you know, I just, I want to be available. Um, and the Switch is nice, because when I was traveling to tournaments, I just, you know, have it in, on the airplane. I'm like, hey, let me lab this matchup that I haven't really worked on before. 
uh, so I know what's going on. It was really handy that way. Uh, I don't really use it um, for MK really much at all. That was like his main use. I've uh, been playing a lot of Fire Emblem though. That game has stolen my life. I got, I'm, I'm scared to look at how many hours I've put into that game. I'm sure other people have more than me, but that game, uh, it's my guilty pleasure. Well, not really guilty. It's a great game. I recommend it if you like strategy games. Uh, second part of that question, that uh, way ramblier than, than I thought, but that's just what I, that's just what I do. Um, V3 Cetrion. So, previously, I thought that she wasn't very good. And then I started seeing some people play around with the Tornado and like what the Tornado can do and stuff. And I think maybe there's something to that variation, you know? Uh, I'm going to try it out a little bit. Uh, maybe for my stream tonight, I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'm still skeptical. I'm skeptical. The main thing, like I think the tornado is good. The main thing is um, the buff. I'm still not sold on the buff. Two defensive bars for a random buff is just not a good trade in my opinion. The, the way that I that, that concerns me is like if I use it, even if I get like the throw crushing blow or whatever that she gets in it, um, I can't do any wake up attacks. I can't do any floss block attacks. Maybe I can. I can't remember. I can't, uh, I can't use interactables, I can't roll, I can't do really anything <laughs> after I use it. And even if once I get one bar back, even if I do do then I'm just stuck at two bars again and then I'm trying to wait and build it back up. So, I mean, I might play around with it because like playing crappy characters hasn't really deterred me before. Spellmaster, for example. <laughs> but uh, I, I just don't have high hopes for it, that's all. But I will try it, I'll give it, I'll give it a go and we'll, we'll see how it goes, so. That being said, that's it for this episode of reading your comments. Like I said, I'm going to try and do it every month. So if you have a question or something you want me to answer, I can't promise I'll answer every single question, but I'll do my best. Uh, just post them down in the comments down below. If you see a comment um, that is a question that you might ask or that you really like, uh, hit the like button. The more likes the comment has, the more likely I am to, to read it and answer it. That's what I do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, because it really helps me out. And subscribe if you haven't, because we make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks, all that stuff, and we'll see all you guys in the next video.